Tonight I'm in downtown Minneapolis where human resources executives gather several times a year to share challenges, learn from each other, network, and learn from a dinner speaker. And this is really great advice for any people manager. Um, learn from each other. You're not alone. There's other people managers out there. It's a great idea just to get together, learn from each other, get advice, share stories, and, and learn best practices. You don't have to be an executive to do this. You don't need to have cocktails and a dinner and a speaker. Just grab a coffee, tea, whatever is standard in your culture, um, and, and get out there and, and network with other people. You're not alone. Um, and this is a really good way to learn from each other and to uh, hone your people management skills. While I'm here tonight, I'm going to interview a number of human resources executives. I'll ask them a few questions. My goal here is to get you to learn from as many human resources executives as possible in a short period of time, just like speed dating. In fact, I'm calling this speed dating with human resources executives. I hope you enjoy it, learn from it, and actually are inspired to go out and do the same and to learn from your own peers. Try to understand them, take their viewpoint as best you can, and listen. I would encourage you to be really focused on your people and make sure you're ab absolutely getting the most out of them that you can and helping them feel engaged in the work because it is a team effort. Remember they need your help with their development. Um, we all develop with the help of others who have come before us and remember you are going to be that person for those new people. Be fair. Think through objectively what the facts are and try to communicate repeatedly because oftentimes we assume that the other person is obviously going to see things the same way we do as a manager and they don't. Set expectations right up front. Be clear about what you expect from your team and then help enable them to get there. Make sure to take the time to focus on getting to know your people and specifically getting to know what motivates them, making sure that you get to know what, um, what really their strengths are and their development needs. And remember that one size doesn't fit all, that one size fits one. Find out what motivates your people. And it's not one thing, it's very individualistic and it serves you well if you know what motivates each of your team members. You suddenly move from getting everything done yourself to having to get things done through other people. And so that's a skill set that a lot of people don't have that they would need training on. Remember that you'll have goals and objectives but it's about helping people connect to the goals and objectives so that they feel their work is connected to the mission of the group. Get to know their skills, uh, find out what they're good at, and find out how you can match goals to their skills. Just remember what it was like to be managed and treat people that way. New managers often get promoted because they're best at the task at hand and often they think then they can do it better than anyone else and they forget to allow their employees to generate new ideas and encourage them to be independent. They are so busy they don't have time for the people reporting to them. The biggest mistake I've seen a new people manager make is to think that they need to know all of the answers. And it's very appropriate to say, I don't know that answer, I'll get back to you. You are now at a different level, you're viewed differently by others, and you need not to be friends with the people that you manage. And they just come on way too strong. They need to take the time to get to know people personally and listen. And when they come on too strong, they get off to a bad start and everything crumbles. To wanting to still maintain a friendship relationship as opposed to uh, evolving it to a uh, supervisor and team member relationship. So be upfront about the relationship is changing a little bit. Forgetting that they're now managers, that they're actually in charge of leading and not doing. And that they reach down and they get too into the details. They actually are kind of super individual contributors. And so they start doing a lot of the work of the team that's underneath them. They uh, misunderstand what management is about. They like to prove that they're very good at being technicians potentially. So they probably try and do the work or let people know they can do the work. Not um, focusing on the end result and, and micromanaging. There's a, a risk of thinking that you need to be the one who has the answers. And as a new people manager, I can't encourage you enough to be sure that you're actively seeking information from your team. Figure out very quickly who does know what 
And most importantly, who knows what you don't know? I think oftentimes the first thing a uh, new manager will do is take a somewhat heavy-handed approach and feel it's really important to position himself or herself um, in that managerial role rather than working collaboratively. That you care about the people who work for you. Humility. Open. Fair. Trusted. Integrity. Transparent. It's the ability to assess your talent is someone that's engaged. Consistency. Authentic. Integrity. Have empathy and excellent listening skills.